salutations from the city of Bluefields on the Caribbean South Atlantic coast of Nicaragua. We're gonna go here in the radio station Radio Zanica and talk with a black Creole man about his heritage and why he decided to come back and live in Nicaragua Bluefields. Let's go ahead inside and check out what's going on. Beautiful Radio Zanica, one of the longest running radio stations on the Caribbean coast of Nicaragua. We're gonna introduce to you right now Michael Britton, the host of Roots Rock Reggae, live in the yes, studio yes, giving his yes. program. Well, well, naturally, naturally, you're listening to 95.9 FM Radio Sneaker. We don't know, so that is Roots Rock Reggae every day from. 9.15 to 9.45, we don't know, so that we're playing our ways, positive vibration. We're talking about roots music, we're talking about soul music, music, you know, that is the, the essence of who we are, music that talk about the truths that happening. Right now is 9.38, 9.38 here on the Caribbean coast of Nicaragua, and of course, I um, want to send one special greetings out to the bedroom, Jalan, in Barrio um, Pinteen, Beholden, sorry, <laughs> I just got it. Well, I want to say that blessings, blessings, blessings to Jalan Deer and well, of course, you have a song here that the, that, that um, the, the, then the request for him, you know, the song called Crying Out For Love. We don't know so that they use them crying out for love because the reality is that we have to come and understand them. Sometimes we hear the youth, them saying things and doing things that we consider out of the way, but we have to, have to realize that sometimes that is just the cry for love. Let us defend, let us protect, and let us be there for the youth them because them is the generation of tomorrow. Run the music, DJ. Yeah. Oh, Morning, oh, Michael Britton. What's up, man? You don't the host know. of Roots What's Rock up? Reggae, one of the longest running Naturally. reggae programs. Years, you know? But I know you haven't been here for 26 no, but years. No, one year and <laughs> two. <laughs> well, Michael, tell us a little bit about your uh, heritage, man. Obviously, you well, look like a black man. I think so, you know. <laughs> I had a little color, my pigmentation, as I call it. But, um, well, naturally, I uh, born here in Bluefields, you know, and raised up until I was around 11. So, I uh, gone to the States and thing, but of course, no matter where you go, you no matter where you go, bedroom, you can't forget where you come from. And roots is roots, you know. A root always searching for the water. When a root don't establish, he established for a, a, a resource that already there, the land. You know, the natural resource of that land is here. This is on the root of this land. So I have to come back to this land. I can't mm -hmm. go nowhere else. This is where my water is, where my dirt, where, you know. Yeah. And the essence is that I had to come back here because, not only because it's my home, mm -hmm. you know, because I have a lot of youths getting out of university and leaving because no opportunity. Yeah. I come back here because I see a reality. After living in the States, living, traveling the world, Japan and different places in the world, we talk about third world country, we talk about, you know, the, 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 the country and what and that. And the reality of it is that the difference is not the money, it's not the infrastructure, it's the state of mind that the people mean, mm. that give them that free liberty of, 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 that liberty of freedom, you know, that, 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 that liberty that we are always supposed to have, uh -huh. you know. Some find it and themselves have it through money, but we know the reality is not there. Uh -huh. And then when you think about the monetary system, you see that, the the, 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 the the living of another is the cost of another life. Mm -hmm. So the more you have, the less others have. And when you look at the third world country, then we suffer in the consequence of another country when we are the resource, the supply for that country's life. True, true. So what I what I saw is that here is a is a developing nation in the sense of infrastructure, technology, you know, education because of the miseducation what happened in the past. And being so, having a population ratio to land that is incredible, everybody is rich if they understand the natural resources. Uh -huh. It is imperative for we as a people to understand what and who we are, you know? True. Because knowing who we are and what we have, uh -huh. then we will understand how to preserve that because right now we're losing it. True, true. So and I you, came back here yeah. to try to, to um, how do you call it, no, bring to awareness this truth that we are free and we could always be free you know and knowing like you saying just a point that you said knowing who we are like a lot of people that see in this video don't know that 
there's like English speaking black people in Nicaragua and we're in the city of Bluefields. Can you explain a little bit of that history? Just briefly, I know yeah, you gotta go back yeah. to your program. We could- No problem, we got, well, I, I, if, if anything happened- I'm Yeah, gonna you're just gonna go right into it. But I, go ahead, yeah. what is that history? Cause a lot of people don't know that black people live here in well, Nicaragua. Well, the thing is this, the reality is that we've been black from the roots. Whether you're Indian as them call them, you're still black. But the, 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 the reality, what we're talking about when we're talking about this imagery we're seeing is that African descent directly from Africa come and mix up with some of the natives of this land. You know, in a not too distant past, a couple hundred years ago. And after that happened, you know, we had influence from people who had interests, like the United States, the Britain, you know, Great uh -huh. Britain and then place, even Spain later on in these times as yeah. we've seen it in a way. You know, give me one second. Go ahead, you know. boy. He's doing his program live right now. He does this every morning, about four times in the week. Yes, yes, you have to take it on the heights because if you don't then, you are on a low. And the reality is that we have to continue on, continue on doing the right thing because of course, if you're not doing the right thing as I always say, you're doing the wrong thing. We go ahead and put on a song here. That was a request by Jeffrey Down in Barrio. St. Rose, St. Rose, Jeffrey the one here the song by Burning Spears called I Stand Strong. You have to stand strong in a Babylon. Yes. So people here like reggae and these ah, type of music. They love it, they love uh -huh. it. You see, coming back to the history, mm -hmm. um, at one point we were influenced by the Brit by the British Empire mm -hmm. and that brought the influence of English. Right. You know how? Mm -hmm. So English became Literally, it, this this broken English is no a form of broken English, but it became our first language, True. at least for the Afro descendants. Uh -huh. You know, and it's adapting it's adapted by all the natives. We have six ethnic groups that are still strong, right? Some a little weaker, but we're still strong in the sense of population, and all of us could communicate more through English. Mm -hmm. And at one point, when the British was pretty much leaving. We had the Jamaican influence in the in the trade with the banana or okay. the banana republic, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. And during those times, we, we we basically adapted more to the Jamaican patois, right. which was more easier for us to 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 be fluent in. So the mixture of that Jamaican patois with the English, British English, brought our what we call Creole English, you know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then we keep with that, but. The music was influenced by Jamaican uh, mento right. for the most part right. and mixed of course with some hot jazz from New Orleans because during the trade of the Banana Republic we had um, tra uh, traders, merchants from New Orleans take, exporting mm -hmm. uh, banana from here, mm -hmm. you know. So um, for the most part English is our, one of our strengths, but the, the, the sad reality of it is that as, as much as we speak it in our homes, uh -huh. Education wise, literacy wise, it's Spanish. It's Spanish. Right. So we don't use high English words, we use Spanish words like for <laughs> well, mathematicas. It, it it breaks down to a Spanglish. <laughs> yeah. But that was the that was the, the, the design of the miseducation. Uh -huh. And that is why I'm here because that miseducation okay. introduced a truth. Mm -hmm. Even though it manipulated, it introduced a truth. So once you know the truth and know that that is truth, you won't you won't do what's right. When you see something wrong, you can do what's right. Uh -huh. That's what I'm always talking about. If you're not doing the, wrong, the right thing, you're doing the wrong thing. Uh -huh. And right now we're doing the wrong thing. So when we know the wrong thing is wrong, we have to do the right because we're hungry. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know? And right people there. will always do what it has to do to survive. Right you know? there. And y'all are surviving here. You know, like, uh, if you don't know, well, now you know. Black people living in Nicaragua. Yes. And, uh, well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to check him out, you know, his name is uh, on the Facebook. By the way, uh -huh. um... The radio, we have a Facebook now called Roots Art Reggae, but also you have the radio program, radiosinica.net. You can listen to the program live, no matter where you are. www.radiosinica.net. Also, we have a cultural program called Bluefield Sound System, where we try to rescue and preserve cultural heritage through the arts of music. You know, it's great, most likely in uh, media, uh, liberal, yeah. liberal arts, but folks in the music as of now. Yeah. Bluefield Sound System is the Facebook name. You can uh -huh. go and check it out. Check out some of all the productions okay. and um, also we're working on a video, a yeah. fundraising video to promote what is a new project we have through Rufi Sound System called Centro Cultural de Artes y Musica, okay. the Caribbean Cultural Center for Arts and Music. Yeah, well right there man, I, I really wanted to introduce this brother to all my YouTube uh, subscribers exactly. and people because this brother is doing a lot of great works here in Bluefields, Nicaragua and uh, check them out. Till next time, Knockout News signing out from Radio Zanica in Bluefields, Nicaragua. Peace. Peace. <laughs>